Yo, what's going on, guys? Crispy Flakes here, man. I am blushing so hard right now, bro. Let me tell you, I found out today that in my 12-man fantasy football league, I have the number one pick, baby. <laughs> I don't know what to do with it. Uh, I, I think I might have gotten lucky and actually had the same pick last year. Or maybe the second pick or something, and I took Justin Jefferson. And I ain't doing that. I'm not doing that. Especially because uh, the Michigan man, JJ, is out for the season. And you all probably got, like, what is it, Sam Darnold or something on the Vikings now? Throwing to JJ? I don't know about that, man. Who should I take? Please help me, man. Please help me, okay? Um. So, what we're going to be doing for today's video, because, you know, it's football season. Detroit Lions. Say that proudly. I always have. Starting last year. Uh, we are checking out some NBA NFL jerseys combined together man it was once upon a time it was my pistons that would be shamed to wear the lions but now it might be the other way around let's check these out see which one's the best on a scale from one to i don't know um okay so we got the atlanta hawks mashing up with patrick mahomes now, my girlfriend said i should take patrick mahomes my first pick in the draft i told her i could teach her how to start her own league up because uh it's the Money League, and I ain't taking Patrick Mahomes my first pick. Great quarterback. If he's there in the seventh round, I will definitely snatch him up. Not seventh. But you know what I mean, man. Like, there's a lot of good quarterbacks, right? Uh, we got the Patriots, the Boston Celtics. Okay, so it's actually kind of crazy. Um, Tom Brady recently just announced his NBA NFL football lineup, and he had Jason Tatum playing quarterback. I mean, I understand, bro, you played for New England, but uh, Jason Tatum at quarterback, I'd probably go maybe like Kevin Love. Well, maybe not today because he's like 90, but you know what I'm saying? I, you know, I mean, Tom Brady played the league. He was 90 and he was fine, so I'm sure Kevin Love could do it too. Um, but yeah, man, very nice jerseys. We got the Hornets and the Panthers. Hmm. I don't know what is about Charlotte. I just find their jerseys very uh, bad. Panthers always been kind of cool. You know, like Cam Newton back in the day, them jerseys. Great stuff. Or wasn't it like also like 2001 they also won? They had some pretty cool jerseys back then too. Uh, we got the Bears and the Bulls. Is there Bulls or Bears in Chicago? Um... I actually kind of like I kind of like the Bulls uh, color scheme in a football jersey. It looks kind of slick, man. I mean, I, I guess in all fairness, kind of just reminds me of Kansas City. I always thought the Bears colors, you know, a little boring. I don't know. That's probably just me being a salty Lions fan or something. But you know, Brian Urlacher, great linebacker, and also <laughs> Rex Grossman. <laughs> uh, we got, ooh, Cleveland Browns. And the Cleveland Cavaliers. What is... What's going on here, man? <laughs> what's going on there, man? <laughs> I don't... Am I missing something? Oh, I lost it. I lost it. I can't get back. I can't get back. I broke it. Oh, there we go. We can do it that way. Oh, that's perfect. That's a lot better. Okay. Um, What is not a Cavalier? Is that the... Is that... Whose mascot is this? Is that the Browns mascot? The dude from Elf? All right. Dallas Cowboys, Dallas Mavericks. Kind of interesting. I feel like the, you know, like, like they say like the Cowboys are America's team, which I don't think is true. Um, they're kind of like the Lakers of the NFL. But what I don't understand is that like the Dallas Mavericks, they're just kind of fine. You know, like, 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 like people either love or hate Dallas Cowboys, I think only Dallas fans like Dallas Mavericks. I don't, I don't think people hate them either, you know? I don't know. All in all, the jersey is great with a star on it. <laughs> uh, pretty boring. Um, okay. Okay, here we go. Here we go. So, Denver Nuggets always got some stuff, interesting stuff going on here. Um, I do kind of like the rainbow gradient thing going on in the sleeves. The mountains for the Broncos here. I feel like it needs more rainbow. 
Okay, if I put a number, okay, may, maybe that's maybe that's why I'm missing some font. Cause I, I do not like the number 27 up here. I think it leaves too much blank space. Like put the 27 right here, and I think it'd be a good time. Or maybe even do like a little skyline and do something down here. It just seems a little plain. Seems a little plain right there, man. And they add some rainbows. All right, nice. There's kids around now, so can't always say the things that I want to say. <sighs> Bro, I want one of each, man. Does it come in Cade Cunningham? Does it come in Cade Cunningham? Or, uh, you know, who's my favorite lion? I'd probably say my favorite lion. Jameson, maybe. Hutch is great. Jameer Gibbs, the baller. Love Gibbs. I think maybe Gibbs. I think maybe Gibbs. But, uh, yo, this piston one, though, man. Like, it really could use the horse. The horse logo, you know? Because think about that. Like, horsepower, like, that's great for a football team. It's also great for a basketball team, but then they just got the worst logo of all time, and that's what we've been rolling with, man. Very cool jerseys. I, I love these with all my heart. Uh, Texans and Rockets. Rockets just remind me of McDonald's and Golden Arches. Texans is kind of slick. I can see KD ball in that. He went to Texas, right? So... That's the only connection there, right? Um, also, I mean, also maybe it reminds... Like, I, I feel like... I feel like the Portland Trailblazers should take some notes here. Because they kind of remind... They, like, they look like better versions of the Portland Trailblazer jerseys. And we just got some McDonald's over there, bro. Kill a little ketchup mustard. Okay. The Colts, Indianapolis. Just two completely opposite color schemes. For essentially, you know... Well, I mean, they're both in Indiana, right? Yeah, why is one yellow and one blue? Like, what is the... I've always kind of liked Pacer jerseys, though. Just because, you know, U of M. Always kind of remind me of that. Um, The Colts one is pretty boring, though. Pacers. Pacers, though, it's a good time. I love the stripes. Love the stripes. Okay. Uh, we got the Chargers and the Clippers. So, Chargers, nba fied Pretty boring. I kind of like what the Clippers have going on here. I really like the collared area. What do y'all think about Matt Stafford? Do you think the Lions should give him like a, a, a round of applause or whatever in the first game? I know it was a big thing in the playoffs. Man, it's been like five years, hasn't it? Oh, wait, 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 Rams, Rams and Chargers. Wait, LA, oh, that's, oh, that's right. LA gets two teams and everything for some reason. <laughs> Why does it only get so many teams? It's not really fair. Um, so we got the Vikings, essentially. That's what that, that is. Tell me that's just not the Vikings. That is just the Vikings. I just won't go. I kind of like the Rams ones, though, man. Wow. I don't know why. I'm just such like I'm, I'm such a sucker for gradients. And like the like the dark blue going up into the light blue. The yellow lighting up at the bottom. Just looks good on a basketball jersey, man. It really does. They both they both look really good. Definitely look really good. Okay, uh, here are the Dolphins and the Heat. Man, that's, that's top five. The Heat one's top five. The Dolphins. <sighs> Once again, it's it's like I feel like with NFL stuff, they keep things pretty simple. So when you put them into the NBA jersey, it just leaves a lot to be desired here, man. Like, the Heat, it gives you a lot to work. A lot of different colors. Uh, the logo is great. But it don't even got one bitch-ass dolphin on here, bro. I need to see at least one dolphin. Like, right? Like, something, man. Something. Something. I guess, well, even with the footballs, uh, you know, it's like you got the sleeves to work with. So to rock these off, I played for the Miami Dolphins NBA version, bro. I'd have, to, I'd have to have probably about 17 different accessories to make it look cool. Spend up all my uh, VC. Green Bay Packers and the Bucks. Something about the Packers as a as a NBA jersey is just unsettling to me. I don't know why. Like I feel like they look kind of cool. It kind of gives me maybe like a like a, a retro Milwaukee Buck vibe. I think the Bucks on. 
football once again looks great. And a, a, a great name for a football team. The Milwaukee Bucks football team. <laughs> Packers. Uh, ooh, yo, many taking W's. Except for the quarterback situation. Um, man. Them wolf ones are awesome. The Vikings, I would say, like, it had potential to be really bad, but, you know, the Vikings text itself just looks right on the jersey. Um, and really, it was the siding that saved. If it was just the purple, I'd be like, okay, a little lacking. But uh, this Wolves one, man. Maybe there's an NBA fan or something. Saints and Pelicans. Yeah, I mean... I guess I didn't really realize till now just how interchangeable both of these teams are with each other's uh, jerseys. Like, it looks pretty much the same. Like, I feel like one would just be the away jersey and one would be the home. But once again, I'm going to say the football one looks better. Okay. Uh, New York Giants, New York Knicks. When you guys think of New York in these terms, do you think more of the blue and orange color scheme or the blue and red i don't know if i've really ever been like i just think about you know when like you know i probably watched uh, mostly new york basketball you know when eli manning was playing back in the day and if i remember correctly i always thought they had some really boring colors man some really boring jerseys but uh i've always liked the orange for the knicks it just works just, just reminds me of boredom. Just reminds me of boredom. Okay, um, New York Jets pizza. It's really good. Hmm. I like the different, uh, you know, shading on this one on the right side. Because, you know, with the gradient, it typically is like solid, solid, and starts lighting up or dark and up or whatever. And here, though, it's kind of like spread around. It's like a little right there, right there, Batman right there. You know, I could probably be maybe uh, like that Ross that does the paintings. Um, ooh, Eagles. Eagle jerseys have always been, I would probably say, my favorite. Back in the day, I had myself a Brian Westbrook jersey that I wore to school every other day the other day was my tayshawn prince jersey it was it was always a rotation people would laugh at me because i was kind of short they say why are you wearing a dress it's like well i'm wearing a football jersey as you can see bitch ass it says eagles on it the philip ones go pretty hard too i would i would if you if you take away the green background and you just put a little design to it man a little something a little flair to it you're probably right up there with the purple Vince Carter Toronto Raptor jerseys. They'd be really cool. Really cool. Okay, next up, Phoenix Cardinals. Always looking like you're in glitching in the Matrix, aren't we, Phoenix? Um, the Cardinals are pretty boring. Once again, it looks like it could be like uh, like maybe an intern took over for the Portland Trailblazers design team and you came up with the Arizona Cardinals jersey. Oh, this is not a shot at the person they make them, by the way. That's just, they didn't really give you a lot to work with. You know, that's kind of my thoughts. Uh, none of this is shots fired whatsoever. I cannot do this in a trillion years. 49ers. Oh, that's right. San Francisco 49ers, man. 49ers. This just kind of reminds me of the Rams. Um, Fine, saved it. 49ers font looks really good on there. Warriors one's pretty boring. I feel like, I don't know. I mean, is it boring? It's, it's, it's mid. It's like a C tier, I would say. C tier. Uh, Seahawks. Ooh, man. Seahawks always got some great jerseys. You also got Seattle up in here, which they don't have a team anymore, but it doesn't matter. Uh, the Seahawks, man. I don't know why. I love that lime green color. I wish I had a car that had that color. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the gray here. I feel like that may be just some white would probably look well. Um, the green and the gray just doesn't really correlate nicely. Uh, and the Sonics ones. See, like I've seen a lot of like redesigns of like, you know, the Seattle Supersonics if they came into the league today. And uh, I, mean, I guess it's really, that's kind of, everything's been just so toned down. It's like, I want that flashy stuff back, man. 
I want I want jerseys to have just a differentiator to them. You know what I'm saying? Titans and Grizzlies. Grizzlies is a great name for a football team. But I guess they got the Bears. So, um, Titans. Like you are a Titan. You are you you walk among the gods. You're a Titan. And I like just see. I, we're, we're, I need to see something with a, that reminds me of Titans here. Give me a giant or something. You know, something that. Give me some big red uh, giant eyes or something. Something that, you know, when I'm down there, huh, 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 I guess it's basketball. You want to be doing that. <laughs> I mean, I guess that would just be my height compared to everybody would be like that. So it's like, I, I, got, I got like some red eyes to just look into. Like, oh, we come for that sack, bro. Uh, Washington Wizards. Does Washington have a name yet or are they still Washington football team? Um... Football jersey looks pretty cool. I'm, they're honestly both pretty cool. The Washington design, or, um, you know, for the basketball one here, kind of got me the uh, Carmelo Anthony, you know, when he was in high school at. Kind of reminds me of one of those jerseys for sure. But uh, there we go, man. Super speed. That's all we got for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. Peace out, my friends.